Alan Alda gives painfully honest confession about his six-decade-long marriage. Beloved actor Alan Alda has one of the most long-standing relationships in Hollywood. But recently he's come forth with a candid admission about the reality behind his marriage. Many fans were touched by his honesty, though more than a few thought the actor was providing a little too much information. But in the end, Alda has found the secret to a lifelong romance. You might think that your own little eccentricities will drive people away, but as Alan Alda shows, they can sometimes lead you to love. After all, out of the billions of people on Earth, there's at least one other person who has to share your quirks. For the actor, that was Arlene. It was back in the 1950s when the not-yet star was at a friend's dinner party. Alda felt intoxicated that night, but not from any alcohol. He ran into a mutual acquaintance who had an artistic talent of her own. It was Arlene, and she was a talented musician from the Bronx. From the second they met, she and Alan began a whirlwind 60-year-long relationship. And rather than one big romantic moment, their relationship began due to a series of coincidences. The more that Alan and Arlene talked, the more they found that they had a lot in common. If you can believe it, the first topic that these two lovebirds chatted about was board games. Turns out they both had the Scrabble Tiles L-O-V-E in mind. As they spent more time together, the couple bonded over other little things. On top of games, these two always loved to celebrate special occasions with pizza, and when one of them was reading something, the other would, too. Soon they would read books, out loud, together. They tied the knot in 1957 and only got happier with every passing year. Of course, it wasn't just hobbies that kept them together, they also related to each other's struggles. When asked about their marriage, Arlene dug into each of their tragic histories. Arlene later told the New York Times that, he was a kindred spirit who was also funny, so there was this great chemistry. Granted, people change as they marry and get older, and both of them noticed some new sides emerging as they became parents. With the couple's first child Eve, who was born in 1960, they realized that they had their fair share of differences, too. That only became as they welcomed two more daughters, Elizabeth and Beatrice. The girls had particular types of relationships with their mom and their dad. Arlene recalled that she was the drill sergeant, and he liked to play with the kids. And those roles didn't always mesh. These were disagreements we had to work out, she continued, we would talk a lot and talk angrily. On top of that, Arlene was tasked with taking care of the kids while Alan traipsed about as a Hollywood actor. Eventually, she resumed work too, and the couple found their groove. That brought them back to the exciting days early in their courtship. When they were with friends, they brought up a little-known funny story about the dinner party where they met. That shared sense of humor has taken them a long way. Arlene has called laughter, the real glue that keeps us happily and willingly stuck together. I think when you laugh you make yourself momentarily vulnerable, Alan added. Unlike most couples, Alan and Arlene spent most of their years as happy as can be. Love like that simply never dies. Alan has also been quoted saying that he and Arlene were already ahead of the game and that neither of us were seriously mentally ill.